Hi everyone, here we have the new all in one from Corsair. This is the H170i RGB. This is have this new system, new smart ecosystem as they call it, where you use one cable to connect everything into the system. The IQ link. So let's check what we have inside the box and then we will go through some settings and some performances using also the IQ software. So here is what's inside the box, as you can see, a safety compliance. Here are the cables to connect everything to the system and between the fans and between the hub and everything. We will get to that in a minute. I've made a video on how you can connect this kind of wires and everything else. You can check that on my channel. And But it's pretty simple. Basically, you connect one cable and you connect all the fans. So let's check what else we have inside here. So here we have the radiator with the pre-installed fans. We will get to that in a minute. So let's check what else we have inside the box. This is the hub for connecting everything and here we have the AMD retention, the Intel hardware and everything else so this is compatible with basically all the motherboards out there so we have some other screws here and then nothing else all right guys as we can see this thing doesn't have any cable at all because everything is running inside here I don't know if you can see this small cable here so all the cables all the power and everything it's running inside here and it's going into this little small hub here you can change the orientation of this one by just removing this piece here and changing from the right on on the left as you prefer here is a pre-applied thermal paste and here we have the three 140 millimeter fans these are the new fans that are using this iq link system with one cable they are communicating between them and with up to 14 devices so as we can see here we have two cables so one of these cables is going to be used to connect this one to the hub here as you can see so this is a 90 degree cable this is nice for all the routing of all the cables and here we have another one in case you want to daisy chain other fans that you have on the system the same fans of course that you have on system and here we have a usb type c port i believe this one is going to be used when they will release i don't know when but hopefully soon the swappable lcd here because this one is doesn't have any lcd it's just a simple cover here with some rgb so i believe that when they are going to release this one are probably going to use the usb type c cable here so let's go through the installation quickly it's pretty simple so what you have to do is connect one cable on here and you have this little piece here in case you want to remove easily the cable again so once you connect the cable there then you have to connect the other side of the cable here and then you are good to go you have the power here the usb and the thermal sensor if you need it and here you, on this side you can connect other devices to 14 devices if i'm not wrong so if you want to know more check the video that i have made on the fans which is basically the same system they are sharing the same system and the same type kind of connection so let's connect this thing to the system and check the settings on iq before diving into other details on the corsair iq link h170i rgb all-in-one i wanted to ask you guys a huge favor almost 90 percent of you who watch my videos and subscribe to the channel in case you did like the content i would highly appreciate if you consider subscribing it takes one second to click on the subscribe button and that will help a lot the channel and allow me to bring more content like this thanks a lot for your support all right here we have iq open and for entering to the settings you have just to click on the icon of the link h 170 rgb and then you can go through different settings we have lighting effects so you can decide the lighting effects of the fans or to only the pump itself moving to the hardware lighting the same thing but when iq is closed then the hardware lighting will take over on the effects and here we have the cooling here you can choose between different profiles on the cooling you can make even your own profile one nice thing i suggest you guys is to make a profile that you call test 0% and test 100% so you can check if the fans are spinning on which one is spinning and how they are performing so here we have all the information about the fans i have other fans installed but anyway you can rename the fans if you want you can give a specific name regarding to where they are installed here we have the temp keep in mind that all the new fans from the iq link series have the this small temperature sensor on the fan itself and here you can change also the speed of the pump i usually leave it off balance it but you can leave it on extreme or quiet variable speed balance set is working okay for me so might be okay also for you then if we move to the alerts here we have the, all the alerts in case you want 
certain actions to be triggered when certain temps are breaching in your case or in the sensors of all your fun and here we have the fun setup so you can run the wizard here and you can choose how to set up the funds and where they are connected between them then if you click to the link system hub which is the controller and you can have an overview on where are the funds installed depending on the colors as you can see they have different colors so you can identify where are all the funds installed and in the device settings you can check for updates or you can decide the brightness of the funds so that's it for iq the corsair iq link h170 rgb all-in-one cooler is certainly one of the best all-in-one that you can get today and will be enough with any cpu you throw with it as a plus the new let's say one cable installation is a huge change in the cable management overall and you will face less issues the price is 270 and if you want the lcd version you should add 100 dollars more let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this all-in-one and if it's worth the price if you find this video helpful consider subscribing hit the like button and don't forget to enable the notifications thanks a lot for your support and thanks for watching